Uh, so in this video we are going to look at the critical errors um, on stop signs one way stop sign two way three way and four way so the first critical error is uh, when you're approaching the intersection you are in a wrong lane so when you stop on a stop sign you stopped in the wrong lane so let's look at uh, one example of that so here uh, we are approaching one way stop sign now see this parked car here it's uh, pretty close to the stop sign um, but you still have to pull back to your side so if you're turning right then you still want to go back closer to the curb on the right side and if you're turning left then you stay closer to the center of the street so here we will be turning right so I am pulling back to the right side closer to the curb here within 3 feet. Now for whatever reason if you stop in the middle of the street here or in the left lane um, that's going to be a critical error. And it happens, it happens a lot of time in the driving test um, especially new drivers because they don't have a full control over the car when they you know go for the driving test. Um, they don't pull back to the right side uh, after going around the parked car they would just like stop in the middle of the lane or in the left lane here and then it becomes critical error so you always have to go back to your side in the correct lane so let's look at uh, another example now this time the difference is we are on a one-way street and we are turning left from a one-way street onto a two-way street so here as we are approaching the intersection same idea here see this white car here it's pretty close to the stop sign but there's but there is still enough room for me to pull back to the right side as you can see there's more than one car length distance so that means I need to go back to the left lane in the first lane uh, to complete my left turn because I'm on a one-way street that's why we see stop sign on both sides and they both are facing me now in this example let's say if I don't pull back into this lane here if I just stay in the middle lane here and try to turn left from the middle lane that's gonna be a critical error so I have to go in the left lane here make a full stop uh, now we are going on a two-way street so we are going from a one-way street to a two-way street that means I just imagine a yellow line in the middle of the street here and I stay on the right side of the yellow line so closer to the yellow line we are going to look at one more example of uh, improper lane so here again we are on a one-way street now we are turning from a one-way street to a two-way street so we are on a one way that's why we see signs on both sides and there's also this black sign indicating we are um, on one way uh, now over here if I want to go left then I should be in the left lane okay so if I want to turn left then I need to stay in the left lane but if I want to turn right then I need to stay in the right lane if I try to turn left from the right lane that's going to be a critical error or if I try to turn right from the left lane that's going to be a critical error as well so in this example here we are turning right so I move over to the right side made a full stop before the sidewalk creep up check on both sides and if it's clear um, then I go and when I'm turning I'm staying closer to the curb uh, within three feet we will look at this example one more time and this time uh, instead of turning right we are going left so same thing here we have stop signs on both sides one way street and since we are turning left this time we stay in the left lane uh, made a full stop before the sidewalk and um, then we're gonna roll forward check traffic and when it's clear that's when we go and since we are turning left from a one way street onto a two way street so now we just have to imagine a yellow line in the middle we cross the yellow line and then go on the right side of the yellow line the next uh, critical error is you're going too close to the parked cars when you're pulling back to your side so for example let's look at uh, this intersection here let's say you have a stop sign over here 
now uh, you are approaching from this side so you're driving uh, if you're on a wider road then you drive in the middle of the street but if you're on a narrow street then you drive uh, in the left lane uh, the idea here is that you always want to maintain minimum three feet or one meter from the parked cars so at any time if you're going too close to parked cars that's gonna be automatic fail so for example let's say you're on a narrow street and you're driving in the middle of the street like this now that's gonna be automatic fail because you're too close to this parked car the reason for that is because we don't know maybe somebody sitting in this car and they can open up the door anytime so there has to be minimum door width distance between your car and the parked car um, and um, the other automatic fail is um, very similar to this pretty much same thing when you're pulling back to the right side so let's say maybe over here you were maintaining your distance so you had a pretty good distance from the parked cars but when you're pulling back to your side then you went too close to the parked car here okay it's still gonna be automatic fail because maybe there is a kid in front of this car or anything uh, you we we always say my dear here we always need to maintain distance from the parked cars if you're going too close to parked car at any time that's gonna be a critical error in the driving test the next uh, critical error is uh, pretty uh, straightforward um, you did not stop on the stop sign for whatever reason maybe the stop sign was um, hiding behind a tree or behind a parked car or maybe you were just not paying attention uh, for whatever reason you did not see there is a stop sign coming up and uh, you did not stop on the stop sign your examiner asked you to stop there or uh, you know if you're in a training car um, he step on the brake on his side so anything like that is um, automatic fail in the driving test the next automatic fail is um, rolling stop so this time you made a stop but when you stopped your car was actually still rolling so they're gonna consider that as a rolling stop and rolling stops are automatic fails so when you stop on a stop sign it has to be a full stop now some people they actually uh, start counting one two three some people they like to look at the ground um, for example let's say this one here so when I'm approaching right now that you can see if you look at the ground the car was still moving now it has stopped completely and now we are moving again so whatever works for you if you want to count one two three or some people they just say like stop uh, stop right um, or you can simply look at the ground uh, but just make sure you make a full stop the next um, critical error is a uh, double stop so we already kind of covered that uh, in the general error so it's pretty much same thing here so you made a full stop before the um, sidewalk or uh, or before the edge of the curb um, but then you're rolling forward and then you're making another stop uh, you're stopping again the second time and that second stop is unnecessary see for example uh, let's take uh, let's take this one here as an example so here I'm approaching the intersection we have a stop sign coming up so I'm going to make a full stop now this stop is good so I made a full stop here now I'm rolling forward I'm checking traffic now I don't if I if I don't see anyone coming I don't stop there if I stop again that second stop doesn't make any sense and that's gonna be a critical error in the driving test the next uh, critical error is uh, fail to yield to pedestrians or cyclists on the sidewalk so here we made a full stop we're gonna check on the sidewalk first if we see any pedestrian or cyclist here who want to cross uh, then uh, we let them go because they get the right of way the next uh, critical error is fail to yield to other traffic so now after checking on the crosswalk that's when we roll forward to check on the traffic and uh, if we don't see any traffic coming um, then we we are good to go then we will proceed without making that second stop 
but if we do see a traffic coming if we see a car coming then we wait for that car and um, because that car gets the right of way so in this example now I'm rolling forward checking traffic and uh, here I stop again because now I see a car coming so we're gonna let this car go first and now the road is clear and then I complete my turn the next automatic fail uh, pretty much applies to all the stop signs and it's uh, hesitation so let's say you made a full stop on the stop sign and um, now you see a car coming uh, doesn't matter let's say for example you're turning right and uh, <coughs> now you see a car coming from the left side but the car is too far and you're not going so that's gonna be hesitation and hesitation it depends on the situation sometimes it's a general mistake and sometimes it's a critical mistake for example let's say uh, you hesitate and uh, maybe there's traffic behind you and they start honking um, then it becomes critical error so a lot of hesitation is critical error a little bit hesitation it's a general mistake the next uh, critical error we have on the list is um, you are trying to go when uh, it's not your right of way so let's take on uh, this intersection again for example so now I made a full stop and I'm just gonna roll forward here to uh, to check traffic now I do see a car coming but and that car is pretty close to me if I don't wait for that car that means I'm trying to go before that car that's gonna be a critical error because it's not my right of way the stop sign was a one-way stop sign so that means a cross traffic see uh, same thing here um, now this car is waiting for me because it's my right of way here okay um, because he's moving from a stop sign and I don't have a stop sign so this critical error that I'm pointing out here is uh, you're trying to go when it's not safe to uh, safe to go when it's not your right of way now the next critical error is uh, pretty much the opposite the next critical error is you're not going when you should be going okay so you're not going when it's your right of way now if you look at this example again as we are approaching to this four-way stop sign you're gonna see on the left hand side there's also a black car coming now I made a full stop before that black car that means it's my right of way I get the right of way to go first okay if I wait for that black car that's gonna be a critical error because I did not take my right of way okay the next uh, critical error is uh, going over the curb um, at any time doesn't matter you're going left right if you go over the curb uh, that's gonna be a critical error and the next critical error after that we have is uh, your speed if you're going too fast or too slow for the conditions uh, without any reason um, that's gonna be a critical error so you always drive according to the road condition weather condition so these are uh, almost all the critical errors um, on the stop signs the most common ones that I have seen from uh, my experience